Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with a second video for the day. And this one is going to be a little bit quicker, I just wanted to real quickly show you guys how insane Tiawaroa is now. Now it's always been one of my top three favorite maps and now it just might be my number one. And I'm about to show you guys why. Not only do Red Deer drink in the daytime now, but they are just absolutely overpopulated. As you can see, they are everywhere. And we just happened to get an initial spawn melanistic female. Which we've had a few of these female melanistics in the past, but uh, really only after the stag ones, but we will take this out. But anyway, this is by far the biggest shocker for me with this update, is just how insane Tiawaroa is for Red Deer, Sika Deer, and pretty much everything in between. Now, I have not really uh, looked for stuff like the pigs. However, I will show you guys everything that I have found as of now. This is meant to be a quick video to just kind of showcase some of the major changes that I noticed immediately. And something else that will make a lot of people happy is when you go into these forests, no longer does it just uh, very quickly and abruptly change the lighting. It now is a very smooth transition that's a lot more realistic and that's big in part to the brand new reflection and lighting system that they have here in Call of the Wild, which makes everything look 10 times better than it used to. But something that you will quickly notice while traversing the brand new uh, layout on Tiawaroa is that there is a lot of animals feeding in places that are out in the wide open Which is a massive step up even the red deer feed out in the open fields now I'm just truly blown away at the changes they made to Tiawaroa It really feels like a true New Zealand map now Which is great because one of the biggest complaints that people had was that it really didn't feel like New Zealand uh, The red deer hunting didn't feel like New Zealand red deer and now with these changes it really does feel like New Zealand. There is stuff everywhere, and the hunting is just absolutely crazy good. But there is our little melanistic female, and unlike most females in this game, we will be taxing this one because, I mean, it's a melanistic. I have to. I've spent so much time hunting for melanistic stags and only got one of them, so anytime we get a melanistic, we gotta tax it and get it for a multi-mount because I do plan to make some more multi-mounts if we get some more stags that are really good, so... We need as many of these rare females as we can, so we will be taxing that, especially since we don't shoot the hinds, we don't really get any new ones that often. Uh, this is a special occasion with uh, the brand new update and all these map resets, we'll get a chance to take down some of these, so that is a really cool trophy, and this is another uh, good look at what the lighting system does. This melanistic looks so much better than they used to in the harvest screen because the way the lighting is now and the reflections, it looks just stunning. It really gives it kind of an HD look, which I love. I think they did a really phenomenal job uh, implementing this new lighting into the game because it really has made everything look better. You guys may be curious what all of these drink zones are. And well, I am very happy to inform you all that these are all Red Deer drink zones. It's kind of insane. I, I wasn't expecting them to increase the Red Deer hunting this much. Not only is it in the daytime, but the zones are like twice as plentiful as they used to be at the lakes that I always loved hunting. It's making this easily the best Red Deer map. Like, there is no competition now. I don't think any of the other maps will be able to keep up with how good Tiawaroa is. It's truly insane. I wasn't expecting this big of a buff to uh, the Tiawaroa Red Deer hunting. But sure enough, we got it. And there is just an absurd amount of Red Deer all over. I absolutely love it. This is probably one of the best changes that they have made. It really is great. Like as we start moving around the lake, not only do you have these ones that we just saw up close and then this little herd right here, but then there's a herd over here, there's that solo one over here, and although they are out of render at the moment, there is a couple herds on this side as well. No longer will we have to spread our tents out amongst like seven or eight locations. I can probably just grind like five spots now and be able to have a very successful red deer grind, which is amazing. It's going to really help the people that want to kind of save on their uh, tent count at each lake and want to have more for other things besides red deer. If you're grinding red deer, you no longer will have to place like 10 different tents or more dedicated to just red deer. You'll be able to, if you want to, just put one or two tents at each lake, which is amazing. Now, I have opted to do slightly more than that, just to kind of speed up the claiming of all of the red deer. But you really don't have to do that if you don't want to, and you can still have a very successful grind now. 
because the amount of red deer at each of these locations, I mean, it's just crazy as we're seeing. And it's pretty much like that for all of these lakes through here, the Pukimaro lakes, uh, both of these, the river down here. It's really crazy. Now, there are no longer red deer on this river, which is a little interesting. There's none at this lake either, uh, but there is one or two zones right here. Um, but other than that, that's all I've seen in this area. It seems like most of the red deer are over throughout this area now, which is cool because this is my favorite spot to hunt them anyway. Something else that I did forget to mention because I'm at the uh, wrong time for them is that the European rabbits are now along the river close to the shoreline as well. I believe over in this area that we just looked at the red deer, I think we have like three different sets of burrows in this small stretch that you see on screen. And they're all right out in the open along the water. It's really cool. I am absolutely blown away at the changes, but we're about to get into something that might shock quite a few people. And it definitely shocked me. We now have Sika deer and turkeys and feral pigs lining the river feeding, which is just nothing that I would have expected. They used to have quite a few different feed zones that were in the trees and now most of them seem to be out in the open. So we already have a Sika deer feeding out in the open in one of the fields next to a bunch of burrows for some European rabbits. And then if we look over here, we are going to see more Sika deer feeding. I'm truly just blown away at how many different zones for uh, feeding are out in the open. It's uh, truly incredible. Now, I don't see them at the moment. Oh, actually, never mind, I do. There's also turkeys. Lots of turkeys feeding out in the open as well. Uh, we did have a flock of turkeys over here last night. I don't know where they've gone, but there is another group of Sika deer uh, in a feed zone as well. We got the turkeys over here along with some more Sika deer. I was not expecting them to make the feeding zone so accessible with this rework, but they have. You can officially hunt feed zones for Sika deer and turkeys and do pretty well. And up here we have another turkey in a feed zone. It just doesn't stop. It's just a continuous flood of different species feeding along the river. And we've also got another Sika deer and another turkey in two different feed zones. It just does not stop. I'm truly blown away at the changes here on Tiawaroa. Like I said, this is going to become a lot of people's favorite map because all the species are so accessible now. You don't have to be limited to the drink zones either. We've got more turkeys up here in the forest, it sounds. This truly is going to be the new Silver Ridge Peaks when it comes to just always having something to hunt and species just being everywhere. I'm uh, truly, truly blown away. And, you know, while we're here... There is one trophy that I ended up getting on Tiawaroa before this update dropped for the content creators that I gotta show you guys before I forget to do it, considering it's going to be an old update. There's a good chance that I'm gonna forget it if I don't put it up now. We ended up finding ourselves an albino Sika deer, and this time it was a stag. So without further ado, let's take a look at that real quickly. So as of the time that I am recording this video, this is the exact same day that I killed that melanistic level 6 red deer that you guys have probably seen in one of the recent videos. And although I don't know when this video will end up going live due to Revon Tuli Coast being just around the corner, I jumped in here literally just to open up the trophy lodge. I opened up Call of the Wild and I decided to try to get into the lodge, right? And then I turn around and I spot this. I don't know how long it's been on my map, I don't know when I even shot a Sika deer on here last. But sure enough, we have an albino Sika deer, one of the rarest albinos in the game, and it is a stag this time. The last albino we got was a female out of multiplayer, and before that the only albino Sika stag we had ever killed was back around the release of Tiawaroa, and it was in multiplayer as well. This is the first albino I've ever taken off my own map, and... Well, it's about time we take it down. This is truly just incredible. Let's go ahead and get the Argus scope so that we don't uh, fall short on uh, our uh, compensation. Let's see if we can get this down. That is truly a beautiful trophy. I am incredibly happy to see this. And just like that, he has hit the ground. My gosh, this has been a long time coming to get a second one of these. And it's actually bigger than the last egg we got, so that's even better. Man, that is something that I have not seen in so long, and it's so nice to see another one. These really are one of the nicest looking albinos in all of Call of the Wild. 
And this is actually a really solid looking level 3 too. Such a beautiful thing to get down. And obviously the 308 just dropped it on the spot as we expect. What a gorgeous trophy. And this is definitely going into one of our uh, blacks on the main lodge. That is so cool. A 49.14 kg, 103.70 scoring, level 3 albino seekadeer. That is just truly incredible. And we have to put this thing in our lodge in a uh, very easily noticeable plaque. I, I want this to be one of the first things that we see when we go into our lodge. I'll, I'll see if I can find a spot that'll make that work. If all else fails, you can go in our Sika and Red Deer room. So now that we have taken a look at that albino Sika deer and looked at some of the most insane Red Deer zones as well as some of the best feeding zones on the map with this current update, or I guess for you guys it will be with this next update coming out on the 28th of this month. But now that we've looked at that, let's take a look at probably the most insane change that I've seen during my time hunting here on Tiawaroa. I know quite a few people were very disappointed with the way called wild handled drink zones with animals kind of being in the trees when they're drinking, but I really think that they have made an effort to kind of fix that and also in the process created the most absurd Sika drink zone I have ever seen in my life. Like there is an insane amount of Sika deer here and something you guys will notice is they're actually in the water drinking. And this is something that I noticed with most of the Sika zones that I've found. Most of them are actually standing in the water when they're drinking or very, very close to it. This is a huge change and it's something I did not expect out of this update and I definitely didn't expect to find a Sika zone this insane. But every single time that I've gone here throughout the four or five different time resets I've done, they're always like this. There is always an insane amount of Sika deer here and that's actually a brand new zone that I didn't have previously, so we've got even more in this area than what I had last night when I was looking around. And if we keep going down here, there's even more Sika deer drinking. They have truly made Tiawaroa one of the top maps in the entire game. Like I was saying, it was already a top three map for me, and now it just might overtake Silver Ridge Peaks as the number one. This was a pretty solid Sika deer. Let's go ahead and see what it scores. It is a 167.90. And uh, once again, the uh, new reflections just making it look even better. I love the uh, new tone on the antlers because of this new lighting system. Very nice. Very, very nice looking. As we continue down, you will see some other pretty cool stuff. We've got some feral pigs uh, crossing the river right now. We've got a couple more Sika deer chilling out here in the drink zone. I am just truly, truly lost for words as to how amazing these changes are. But I think that's going to be it for this little look at the new Tiawaroa. We will go more in depth in the future if you guys want to see some more about the map. If you guys want to see me check out the fallow zones or the feral goats uh, zones or the uh, new chamois zones. Because supposedly chamois don't have drink zones anymore. Which is going to make it pretty interesting to hunt them. So let me know if you guys want to see that because I will definitely do some videos on them. But with that being said, let's jump into the trophy lodge and take a look at that beautiful albino. You know, with the amount of Sika deer that I have put in this lodge in the past, it's uh, kind of hard to choose which ones to replace, but considering we've already got this rack as a diamond, I think we will replace it. So let's put our albino right here. And honestly, that looks really good next to the other albino. Uh, they have two very different racks, although they are both low level. I think the new one is just slightly nicer looking. That really is beautiful. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the brand new T Abaroa. Let me know what else you would like me to explore on this map as I did not show off everything in this video because it would be a very long video if I did. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below and I will respond to as many of them as I can. With that being said, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!